you want to know what it is? Information. Remember. Information. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> um, cloud seeding is something that I studied in school for meteorology, mm -hmm. weather modification. Mm -hmm. Back when I went to school, it was like, I poo-pooed a little bit. It was too expensive, it's not efficient enough. Well, guess what? When you get desperate and then technology yeah. gets better, 20 years later, here we are. Cloud seeding is ramping up so big. You see me there showing that flare on the plane. They send silver iodide into the clouds and, it and then it makes it snow more. Oh, wow. So they can't make a cloud, right? But yeah. they're taking storms that are already there and then giving it a little boost. So this is not, that part's not new. What's new is they have hundreds of these ground cloud seeders. So they're actually puffing the silver iodide with a flare. And you see, I think I have a picture of the actual ground cloud seeder into the air. That thing sits all over the Rocky Mountains, all over the American oh. West. Ten states are doing this. Yeah. And I wanted to tell this story because my friend Russ is the state climatologist of Colorado. And he said, you got to see what's happening with, cli wow. with um, cloud seeding. There's a number of facts that we can ascertain from watching that video. Firstly, we haven't got a clue what that lady's name is. Her name is going to be Rachel from now on. Hello Rachel, how are you doing? If you're making that hand gesture, by the way, you're not saying stop, you're not saying hi, you're not saying hello, you're saying puffing, and it depends what you're puffing. She's also got a friend called Russ. Now Russ would like to tell her how advanced the cloud seeding program has become. One of those facts that she was talking about, they can't make clouds, but they can make use of the clouds that are there, and they can make it snow. If they can actually make it snow, they can make it rain and also amplify storms, make them bigger and much more vicious. They've got a cloud seeding program that's ground-based in 10 states, and I think this is all over the world. So when you're actually in the middle of a very, very, well, a hurricane or tornado or whatever it might be, you've got to ask yourself, was that actually man-made? The chances are, yes. There's a fact she came out with is they can't make clouds. Now, some of you might actually see this site, ducksters.com, and some of you may not. Links below. A great site for information for science for children, and what we're looking at is weather and clouds. We can see what the clouds are made up of, how do clouds form, cloud levels, types of clouds, and we've got a lovely diagram. Pay attention just there. But the information we're looking for is interesting facts about clouds. A cloud that forms on the ground is called fog. Some clouds you see in the sky might be from airplanes. These are called contrails. Well, there you go. So as you see, planes do make clouds. And I think that's what Russ was trying to say to Rachel, how advanced the program has become. They can make clouds and they can seed and modify the weather. And if you want any more information on this subject, geoengineering.com is the place to go and look. Links to that in the description box down below, nice and simple for everybody to find. 660,000 weather modification patents and everything else that you need to know. Clouds are made by planes. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.